side too. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Are you getting the silence? Silence? we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. You getting this? Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was... <sighs> the first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. Last time I was in California, I was five, six. The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run onto it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. Where was this place? It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. 
They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded and enjoy your gaming. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm's getting better metal. at the day. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. Guess they were used to it. light. Guess that means no power. <laughs> A holographic interface. There must be some... Oh, that's informative. Sources? That makes one. These wires must run to the power source. Remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter.
I'm all right. They're not looking for answers. Just weapons. Wait, what was that? Not sure what that was. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes. Eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how?
the eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. Sobek. As projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. I can't spare the weight. Dr. Sobek. As projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but. Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. 
What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor, I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of... history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella, add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I sent a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Not just so big. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base? What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? 
Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. 